Hello everyone, my name is Katrina and welcome to my sewing channel. I love to sew and knit and today I'm sharing my hand knitted sweater collection. So most of these sweaters were knitted in the past year. I have been knitting for a long time but I didn't get as interested in it until this past year. And there are 30 sweaters here and that might seem ridiculous. Ridiculous to own that many, to make that many. Why in the world would I have that many? So there's a couple reasons. One is I love the process. I absolutely love knitting and I do it when I'm watching a movie, when I'm you know, listening to something, doing something else. So it's not like I purely am wasting my time just sitting there knitting. I also wear all of these finished pieces and I hope to pass them down to future generations someday. So they're not just, you know, fast fashion, wear it a few times and throw it away. I'm hoping they'll last for years because they are hand knitted and well made and very special. And then lastly, I do really try to not waste my money, <laughs> which can be hard when it comes to yarn because it can be extremely expensive. So I buy on sale, I buy um, in bulk, if I can or if I can get a better discount. So I really do try not to blow all my money on yarn, which can be hard, but I definitely make an effort. So just a little explanation. If you're wondering why I have so many sweaters, what's the point, how much did that cost? Um, I don't think I've spent more than $40 at the most on yarn for any of these sweaters and some of them more like 15 or $20 for the yarn, which to buy a good quality sweater, you couldn't get it for that price. Yes, all my work is going into it, but I love it. I love knitting. So yeah, little explanation behind that. And I'm just going to briefly talk through each sweater. I'll share some pictures of me wearing them on the screen and we'll go on to the next one. Okay, so this first one is a cardigan that I made probably four or five years ago. Um, it was the, one of the first sweaters I ever made. I still wear it. And it was quite a big deal for me. I didn't really know what I was doing. <laughs> but it is color work, so it has all of this beautiful um, blues and greens and whites on the background. Here's a close up. Just a simple cardigan, long sleeved, opens in the front. Very good staple piece and kind of special with all the colors. All right, this next piece I made last fall and this was the first sweater I made when I really got back into knitting after several years of hardly knitting at all. So this sweater is supposed to be a mohair sweater pattern, which is a very fine yarn. So the whole pattern is planned around using very fine yarn. And this yarn is much chunkier. So I somehow made it work. I made it in a smaller size um, and then it was bigger, but it's such a pretty sweater. I love these braided cables. And I actually made a couple more in mohair, so I will show those in a minute. Super pretty color, awesome for Christmas. Okay, this next sweater I made right after that one. I started knitting it on Christmas Eve last year. And it, it's, it might be my favorite. It's definitely one of my favorites. Um, it's so special. It's a wool blend, red cable knit, probably the comfiest thing I've ever worn. And just so beautiful, classic style. The roll neck is just perfect. I love this one so much. Okay, next sweater, similar style. Um, this one is a fisherman's wool sweater. And this was a free pattern online. Very classic Fisherman Aran yarn sweater. Covered in cables. Even the sleeves have cables. The entire back has cables. Um, just a very, very classic piece. I wear this one a lot. It is a little bit itchy, which is the only bad thing, but it matches with everything. Okay, this cardigan was also a vintage old pattern I found online. It's another cable sweater, cardigan, covered in cables, also the sleeves. It's got these little tiny um, bobble thingies on all over it. So 
This one took forever to knit, so long. Um, I thought I would never finish it, but it was worth it. Such a pretty, pretty cable design. I love that one. Okay, so a lot of these patterns were designed by my favorite knitwear designer, Lily Kate Makes. You can find her on Etsy and on Instagram. I'll link both her Etsy and her Instagram in the description if you want to check out any of her patterns. They are unreal. She is incredible. So this is her Be Thankful cardigan. And it's just a simple little cropped cardigan design. I made this one out of alpaca yarn. Poofy little sleeves, so much fun. This one is so comfortable, so easy to wear. It goes with everything. And I actually have another one. <laughs> I made two of this design because it's so um, versatile and I wear both of these so much. So this one is a speckled fisherman's wool. And I don't know which one I like better. They're both so pretty, so fun. All right, this pattern I found again online for free. Um, it might've been a patterns brand, I'm not sure. But this cardigan, oh my goodness, another one that took forever to knit, but it was so worth it. I love this. Again, absolutely loaded with cables. I was really on a cables thing there for a while. Um, even the sleeves, they've got bobbles on them as well. And this color is just so beautiful, so perfect. I love this sweater so, so much. The back is covered in cables too. Okay, another Lily Kate pattern. This is her fine line sweater. So pretty. So the body obviously stretches, um, which makes it very comfortable and warm. The sleeves are super puffy. This color is just absolutely perfect for fall. Love it so, so much. And then we have the Poisoned Apple Top by Lily Kate. I got to test knit this one actually, which was so much fun, so exciting. So it is mohair here, and then the rest of it is knitted in um, a very interesting yarn by Lion Brand. It's called their Low Tide yarn. Um, I've made several other sweaters out of it, including the blue cardigan I just showed. Um, it's very interesting, I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of like a chain um, construction, like the yarn itself. So it's very light, um, lightweight, it's not super warm, so it's a great option for like short sleeve pieces like this that you wanna wear in the summer. And moving on to the Lytham, I don't know if I'm pronouncing all these names right, again by Lily. This sweater is so beautiful. So it's got a yoke construction and then these beautiful lacy sleeves, so, so pretty. Absolutely stunning. This one I have not worn as much, mainly because of the sleeves. I love big, pretty, fancy sleeves but I do a lot with my hands, washing dishes or knitting or playing with kids. And so I can't wear this every day simply because of that, but I love it so much. And I hope to get a lot more wear out of it over the years. Okay, moving on to the Lawrenson sweater pattern by Lily again. I absolutely love this sweater. I was a little unsure about it at first, um, but I'm so glad I went ahead with it. I just wasn't sure this length of sleeve would look good on me personally. Um, but I loved it so much I ended up making another one. So I will show that one in a minute. It's got this beautiful rib detail all the way up the side. It's a little hard to see here, but so pretty. This one I made in another Fisherman's Wool yarn. So it's very warm. So that can be a little tricky to style in the winter because it's not long sleeve, but it's very warm. So I've had fun playing around with different styling, um, ways of styling it. Okay, the one that I want to crop top, again by Lily. Most of my makes are with Lily's patterns, as you can tell. This is an adorable little crop top. I made this with the leftover yarn from one of the sweaters I already showed such pretty details and this has crochet edging which i do not crochet but um, 
was pretty simple to figure out. Lily had some great tutorials on it. And I made another one simply because I had leftover yarn scraps. So this was free yarn that I wanted to use up. And this one is so pretty for Christmas. Um, yes, it's cold at Christmas, but you can wear it over a blouse or under a blouse. So, so pretty. Okay, another Lawrence sweater. So this one I made out of yarn when I made the poisoned apple top. I had a lot of yarn left over, and so I had enough to make this one. Um, and it knit up a little bit smaller simply because of the, the type of yarn that I used. But this one is great for summer because it's not hot or itchy or wooly. So I've worn this one so much. And then we have the... Oh my goodness, I can't remember what this one's called. Ah, just a minute. Okay, <laughs> this is called the Underlace Top by Lily Kate, and I was so blessed as to be able to test knit this one for her as well, one of the test knitters. So it's so pretty, it's got little lacy cap sleeves and lace around the neck, and then just these fun stripes. So this one is great for summer, but it's also so good to layer over something in the winter as well and use it as a vest. I love that one. And then we have the Tidy Tee, which was also a test knit that I did for Lily, her, one of her more recent designs. Um, I think around the end of this summer, she came out with this one. And this one is wool, very, very warm. So again, a great vest kind of option. But I love this construction so much. Look at that neck and those sleeves. Oh my goodness, Lily is brilliant. I love this piece. I'm so happy I made this one. Again, another one I was a little unsure about how it would you know, look on me, but I love it, it's so fun. Okay, the Made My Day cardigan, again by Lily, <laughs> her pattern, and this one, was so much fun, mainly because it was very simple to knit. So it was a very enjoyable, just relaxing. I didn't have to worry about, um, you know, what I was doing or all kinds of complicated stitching. But then it has all these colors, which are so much fun to get to do. And the way Lily set up her pattern, you can do whatever colors you want, whatever um, pattern of stripes you want. So I really got to play around with this one, which was so much fun. So happy about that. Okay, one of three mohair sweaters I've made, and it may be a while before I work with mohair again. <laughs> mohair is very time consuming. It takes so long because the yarn is so thin, but this is the Greystoke Cardigan by Lily, and I'll insert a picture. Um, it's a little hard to see what it looks like, but it's a very basic, um, almost like a jacket, kind of, is the way it looks. And the sleeves are super puffy and pretty with pleats. I'm not super thrilled with how this turned out. Not because of the pattern. The pattern is amazing. But because of the yarn I chose, I chose a yarn that was a little too thin for the construction. And so it's more saggy than I would like, but it's still so beautiful. Still such a pretty sweater and an amazing design. Okay, and then the next two sweaters, so that green sweater I shared earlier on that I said is supposed to be made in mohair, this is the same pattern. So this is it, made in mohair, in this beautiful blue, took forever. <laughs> and then I also made it in green, and I purchased this yarn because, um, I purchased it all at once because it was a really good sale discount, I got a really good price, but if I'd known how long knitting with mohair would take, maybe I wouldn't have uh, done that. <laughs> so I'm very happy with the finished sweaters, but uh, they took a lot of time and patience. I made one for my mom as well for her birthday in a beautiful um, hydrangea blue, periwinkle blue kind of color. So pretty. So yeah, four sweaters out of mohair was a long process. <laughs> All right, this one I made just recently, a few weeks ago. This one is a pattern by Drops Design, a free pattern by them. So super, super fun. Color work, 
a very simple sweater, but then the color work, the yoke is so pretty. This one just makes me feel like I'm in the Austrian Alps skiing, which makes me so happy. <laughs> so I absolutely adore that sweater. And then I did actually make another fine line sweater. So I shared a coral one earlier on by Lily. This is the same pattern by Lily. And I wanted to make one in green for Christmas. The yarn for this only cost $12. So I was like, why not? I wear that one so much and I've worn this one so much. So a huge, um, a hugely used piece in my wardrobe for sure. Such a beautiful color. All right, we're almost done. So then we have the Any Day Vest, I'm pretty sure is what it's called, by Lily. This is the softest, most beautiful yarn I've ever seen in my life. Um, here's a close up of what it kind of looks like. So soft and incredible. Absolutely love this. This was a pretty quick knit, which I loved. I love vests. I've never worn vests much before, but I have three or four here that I've knitted and I have discovered a huge love for them. They bring so much life to an outfit. Okay. The Hopelessly Devoted Cardigan by Lily, another one of her very recent designs, and I did test knit this one as well, um, in this beautiful arrow wood color. So pretty for fall. Super puffy sleeves with pleats, and you can wear it buttoned up or unbuttoned. Such a great, great, timeless design. So I absolutely love this one. And the Ribblesdale vest by Lily, which is one of her very recent patterns that came out. This one I love so much. This one is made from a fisherman's wool yarn and it's very stretchy, which makes it very nice to wear. It's very snug and secure and warm. And I love this one it's so, so much. I've already worn it a lot. I wore this on Thanksgiving actually. Um, and it's a great silhouette to wear over a dress, over a blouse, um, whatever you want. So it's just such a special piece. Okay, the next four pieces I'm going to mention quickly, I don't have with me, um, so I can't show them to you right now, but I will insert pictures. So one is the Chill Day Cardigan by Lily that I made in this beautiful um, variegated blues and greens kind of yarn. Very warm, very heavy, the yarn I used. Um, just so beautiful. I was a little unsure about how bright the colors were, but I'm really happy with the way it turned out. The next one is the pink one cardigan, which is the first design that I test knit for Lily um, back in the spring. And really love this one. I used a red yarn burgundy color combined with um, a strand of mohair, which made this beautiful textured effect that it has very stitch on the sleeves, which is one of my favorite stitches ever. Um, I wanna make a whole blanket out of it. It's so beautiful. So I love that one as well. Then there is my Avon hand cardigan, also by Lily, which is a short sleeved piece with floaty mohair sleeves, buttons up the front, um, a little cardigan. I'm definitely going to be making another one of those at some point. It is such a pretty piece, I love it so much. And then the Rosary sweater by Rosary Apparel, who is another of my favorite seamstresses, knitters. And this pattern is free on her website. Um, this was one of the first sweaters I knitted early on this year, like in January. Very lightweight, airy kind of sweater, so beautiful. And then lastly, I was going to show you guys what's on my needles right now. So this is the Cadogan sweater. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Cadogan sweater by Lily, another one of her recently released patterns. Um, so it's a very stretchy rib body with a square neck, which I love. And then it's going to have very long, poofy sleeves. Um, so if I finish it before I post this video, I will insert a picture for you guys to see what the finished thing looks like. But that's what I'm knitting right now. And I don't have a ton of knitting plans for the near future. Um, a few more mostly to use up odds and ends of yarn I already have, but we'll see. I think I've got enough sweaters to last me for quite a while, so probably not too many more coming up.
but maybe I'll share some more about the few more that I make. Um, if you guys want to see. If you have any questions about any of the patterns, any of the yarns I used, please leave them down below. I'd love to um, answer any questions about that. You can head over to my Instagram, Katrina Cheshire, for pictures of all of these, for any more information about these. Um, and again, I'll link Lily Kate's Instagram and Etsy below if you want to purchase any of her patterns. And I'll also link my Etsy shop. So my Etsy shop um, is Song of Hope Designs, and I love to make costumes, clothing, hair accessories. Um, I do have one or two sweaters on there. I'm hoping to release more uh, hand-knit sweaters or sweater patterns at some point. I don't quite feel like I'm to the point of designing my own knitwear patterns, but I would love to get to that point at some, sometime soon. So I hope you enjoyed watching. Merry Christmas! And thank you all so much for being here. Goodbye.